All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to um, use OBS with Reaper. You won't need Voice Meter Banana. You will not need um, Rhea Stream. Um, all you will need to do is download Reaper. And when you download Reaper, there's a little box that you need to check that says Rhea Route. Make sure you click that, then install your Reaper. Then after you do that, you're going to open up OBS, which is where we are already, right here. And you're going to add an Osseo track. So you can see I have two of them already. I'm going to turn this one off. I'll turn this one back on. This was my original one. I'll get rid of this. Don't need it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works, okay? Pretend like they, you can't see... Uh, any audio coming in. You're going to right click in your source area. You're going to add an Ozio track. It's going to name it Ozio 2. I like that. So I'm going to go with it. And this is the important part. Uh, it's going to pop up and ask you for your device. So now that you've installed RIA route with your Reaper, it's going to see it. So click on RIA route. And on OBS channel one, you're going to go RIA route Reaper client one. And you're going to go OBS channel two, RIA route client two. Now I had to turn off my original uh, Azio track because I was, I would get that double vocal track thing going on there. But this, now that you guys can see, that's how my Azio is now. Um, imagine you still can't see any um, sound here. You have your track, you have it all set up, but you can't see any sound here. So the next step, go to Reaper, go to Rhea, I'm sorry, go to your routing on your master track, on your master fader. Add new hardware output. Add Rhea route one, Rhea route two. I already did this, so I'm not going to click it. But that's how you're able to see my sound over here in OBS. And now you should be able to see your sound in OBS as well. Now you want to do a secondary check. You want to see if you can get any sounds with like uh, MIDI drums or, you know, a MIDI instrument. So let's check that out. And you can see over here. So you're getting all of the sound from your drums there. And there's one last thing you need to check. Um, definitely check to see if you can get your guitars recording. That's why I did not like um, voice meter banana. Uh, I wasn't able to record live guitar during a review or creating a song on like say Facebook live. So I'm going to test out my guitar. If it works, I'm good to go. So it looked like our uh, guitars were working just fine. Um, this way I know that um, I can actually record um, guitars while doing a review. I feel like that's really important. So that works with bass, um, guitars, anything you want to do like that. So And that's using like plugins. So if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. I can try to help you out. Like I said, I don't know if I said, but this is specifically for... Uh, Reaper. But if you like this, subscribe. I'm going to try to do a few other uh, tutorials for Reaper. All right. Thanks.